let's continue Animal Crossing New Horizons if you're watching later on YouTube. Thanks for clicking, hope you've been enjoying so far. Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook, it's 9.42 in the morning. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sending news just in, we're moving forward with the construction of the Shamblonia Museum. We'll build the museum on this very spot where Blathers had his tent. So sorry to inconvenience you all like this today. Tis a shame to suspend your scientific endeavors. However, I hope having our splendid new museum completed by tomorrow will make up for this little setback. That was a little message Blathers asked me to pass on to you all. That's it for me. Time for all of you to get out and enjoy your day. Yes, yes. Okay. I have tea. <laughs> a bit later than usual for today, stream-wise, but I'm here. I have the warrior outfit, but I guess clothing-wise, I'm kind of... I don't really have many options. Gulliver, thanks to your help, I am back with my crew. They made a big show of sighing and rolling their eyes when I climbed aboard. What jokers. Anywho, here's a cool trinket from my travels. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, one sec. Not that. I keep pressing minus, like as if it brings up a menu. I'm too used to it. <laughs> really? I got a Statue of Liberty? Alright. Sure. There you go. That's, that's like, it's on a separate island, I think. This is an island, right? Yeah, it's, it's its own island. Sure, why not? Today, working on the shop, which should be acquired. Really? Still one shot. to get to a point where I make an axe. Okay, well now I have enough. There we go. Okay. is happening. Okay. 
go. Yeah, unfortunately I won't be able to get fossils identified. But I guess I can <laughs> dump them out front of the museum. I don't know. Oh, they have houses now. So, I mean, one of them should visit the recipes. I kind of want all my fruit to be in sync, so I'm happy to just leave those unpicked. Yeah, maybe later. Once money is less of a concern. Please don't break halfway. Wow, no iron. I think I got this one already. Sorry, I had one more rock. Well, there's one that I've probably thought that I've done and just hasn't been done. Ah, oh, here we go. Please don't break halfway. Please don't break halfway. <laughs> the good news is I'll definitely have the money today. Pass will be paid. I hear Ballon. Tail hood. <laughs> yes. Apparently, I got something for it. Oh, there you go. Ten 
It's like a photo. Okay, um... How do I make funny poses? I remember you could do it. I mean, it's just to get the, the Nook Miles, it's fine. It's an easy one. Okay. Hey, guy, me, what's up? Okay. I think with this fruit, I should have enough to pay off the loan. Uh, it's just an outfit you can get. Since I don't really have clothing at the moment. But I'll probably change it once I have clothing. Which now that I think about it, I could probably draw something because I got the, the art app. I'm doing alright. Just a bit of a long day. For tomorrow, I guess. to sacrifice a present. Oh. I think I want to fall in the river or something. Wrestling mask. <laughs> well... I mean, if I had something to go with it, sure. Okay. I'll go sell the fruit. In we go. I'll probably spend time looking for a villager to put into the town. Oh yeah, and I gotta bring back the iron. But yeah. 
Perks. Oh, we got the diving exercises now. Okay. Actually, hold on. Now they have houses. No more tent city. Oh. Yo, welcome, and relax and make yourself at home, shorty. Chat with me. Guess what, I finally own something that even I have trouble lifting. Yep, I have a house now, shorty. It's got walls, a floor, even a ceiling. I can finally do jumping jacks without ripping a hole in my home. <laughs> That's actually funny. But, I mean, why wouldn't you just do them outside at that point? Like, why? If it's that much of a problem. Oh, no one's crafting. Yo, Vroom, thanks for stopping by. Let's talk. Oh, hey, big news. I have officially moved on from tent life. I got a house, Vroom. I mean, tents are cool and all, but I can fit way more stuff in the house. Plus, it now feels like I actually live here instead of just roughing it. I mean, they still have a sleeping bag <laughs> on a hard floor. I at least have a cot. I'm living a little bit better. Shabal. Okay. I think that's all the fossils for today. Ooh, bottle. Yeah, you found it. You know how you get so bored during commercials? That's when I came up with this recipe. I put it in a bottle, so def check out this masterpiece. You have to make it. Cabin wall. Probably want to make that. It wouldn't look too bad. I think I'm just going to dump the fossils out front of the museum. No. Has to be a neat little pile. Oh, right. It does this thing where you, it drops it directly where you're standing. Okay, there we go. I'll be there tomorrow. Turn this around. Uh, that's better. Okay, uh, I need a flimsy axe and wood. Oh, right, 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 right. Hmm. 
Okay. Should be able to make nicer stuff now. Cabin wall. That's a lot of hardwood. For aesthetics. Maybe not yet. Oh, nice. Good timing. I need a wardrobe. Alright, that should do it for fruit storage, I think. No, 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 not that. Hand over. Yep. Brings us closer to building a shop. Pop up toaster. Oh. Thanks, I can make a toast now. Okay. Hopefully I got what's required wood-wise as well. Wait, can I rearrange the ups? Roach. Ooh. That one should be easy. If only it popped up when I was over there earlier. I'm probably going to lose this axe. Uh oh. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. I love how he was just chilling there watching me get chased down. Right, how are the counts looking? 29. We've almost got enough hardwood.
Okay, well, I'm, I'll be able to make some trips today. Magic triple wood tree. Okay, well, it's just soft wood now that I need another sixteen. Yeah, oh, not again. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, it's fine. I can't pull out the net that quickly. You know what, I may as well log into this and get the bonus. point. Zero, zero, zero. zero. <laughs> All right. Oh, I should have donated. That's oh, fine. I'll be back there anyway. I thought there was only one nest. In the trees, I guess not. Yes, there we go. I need more of that. I mean, random is random, but... You can see that I've gotten more of one type. Wow, that sucks. Okay, nice. Good. Alright, six more. One more, okay. I may as well keep chopping. I'm gonna need wood to replace what I'm about to donate. Oops. Well, there goes the axe. Alright. Let's see... Hold on. Need to get sticks out. And stones. It's fine. 
nein, das macht keiner. Okay, so this is looking less plain. I mean, <laughs> it's less plain. I don't know. I don't like the floors, but it's less plain. Probably prepare for the fact that my shovel's gonna bite it soon. I forget what a shovel's made out of. Hardwood, yeah, it's fine. I don't have iron. this later. Okay, building shop. I'd like to donate. We brought in the rest of what we need. Are you really going to know all the remaining materials? Yes. These are for you. This means we have everything we need to get this started on the shop. Okay. As a thank you, please have a rice cooker and a blossoming wall. I mean, I'll take the rice cooker. One more thing. Since we have all the materials we need and can start construction in the shop, we'd like you, a key figure, in making this happen to pick out the perfect location for the new shop. Okay. Place that shop construction kit wherever you like, and we'll get started on the construction. So excited to see the location you picked for us. Hey, Sandy. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing this. I've had a long day, so I'm just going to kick back with this. Ha! Ah! Oh, I just poured tea in a glass. It's hot. Okay. Uh, I need to get rid of this tree, but I can't yet. Okay, uh, I guess I'll go home and put stuff away. What does this wall look like? Nah, I'll take the cabin wall. I can't store a toaster on top of this, can I? For the rice cooker? No, alright, I'll floor rice. I make floor rice. My rice is made on the floor. Oh, there it was. Floor toast and rice. I 
humble beginnings. Okay. Uh, we'll hang on to that. I'm going to go to an island. I need to get iron. One piece of iron so I can make an axe. I can get rid of some of the trees I don't like. Oh, it's 2000 It's expensive. I don't think there's anything else I would really want. I mean, okay, there's hairstyles, but... So if I got the most out of this. Go for it. We'll see what we run into this time. Oh, it's... who is this? <laughs> Bubbles the hippo. I didn't expect to see anybody on this island. Nice to meet you. You're from Shambhalani. I told heard of somebody, Trey Cool, who's from there. Maybe you know them, their name as well. That's you? Wow! Pair of celebrities on one island. Well, I'm a celeb in training, but still fab. Thinking about it. I'm gonna be more picky with the villager stuff this time around. Whoops. Debating. good. This is very good. This is excellent. Yes! <laughs> Iron replenished. That's exactly what I needed to happen.
I like the name. That was kind of fortunate. This doesn't bite the dust midway. Probably use the flimsy net first. All right, I'm ready for it. Wait, did I? Oh, I didn't do this rock. Okay, hang on. Please don't break. All right, good. Ready for this. Hopefully I'll run into the, the furniture before the wasp. Could possibly be on this high ground. I don't know. I don't have a ladder yet. No, okay, got it. Nice. I got a sink! <laughs> yes! House is coming along nicely. Getting a fully functional house pretty quickly. I'm thinking about it. Still thinking about it. First time I'm seeing a hippo. The only thing that's missing is now the bottle on the shoreline. bottle.
I'll wait. I'm happy with the sink already, to be honest. Do I want to bring... Still thinking about it. <laughs> Has there not been anything on the shore? I thought that was always guaranteed. Something on the shoreline. I'm also trying to get the wharf roach, which is like a knock mile thing. I mean, I achieved my goal here. Hey! It's a Ranchu Goldfish. Oh, come on, I pressed it in time. <sighs> I'm in no rush. But I know at some point... <laughs> Maybe someone will see this and be like, why didn't you take bubbles? Should have taken bubbles back to town. Why didn't you take bubbles? Breaking the chain anyway. Alright, one more fish. Seems promising. Or it's just a sea bass. <laughs> we'll see. Probably just a sea bass. I think it's time to go. You can earn more points at home.
Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, if it starts raining, I can go fish at the dock. Get that out of the way. Okay. I mean, wrong kind of sink. It's a bathroom sink. But I don't have a bathroom. <laughs> it's just, sure. I mean, it's something. the axe. Might as well make the good fishing rod now, since this one's probably on the way out. to make sure that I have donated. Hold on. It's got a symbol. Doesn't it? I thought it had a symbol. Oh, but we don't have a museum yet. <sighs> That's probably why. Okay, well... I know this at the very least hasn't been... ...all this. Wait, that gets a special... <laughs> it's kind of a nice decoration, to be honest. Okay, um, sea bass for sure has been donated. Mantis hasn't. This is directly under you. Ugh. Still getting used to it again. Yep. That was going to happen.
All right, we'll let that go. I'm not going to plant anything until the other coconuts have grown. where it's going to be. Sounds like I'm right on top of it. There it is. Okay, got it. That'll be ready for tomorrow. This tree needs to go. I mean, more or less is what I want. more or less correct. It's a start. Uh, 
I don't know how many mich how many more shells I need to sell. Uh. I need to buy items. Oh, still got a lot. I suppose I should see. What's for sale today? <laughs> a smoker. <laughs> yeah, um... I mean, that would single-handedly get me... Alright, sure. Hell yeah. I'm gonna smoke some mates. Okay, that's a good set of them. Cheese? Oh yeah, I suppose. Smack some cheese. There we go. <laughs> I need to think how I want the property to look. And I'm thinking central path, but we'll see. Right now, everything's in a uniform grid, more or less. Okay. Should be the last of the shells I need. Nice clipping. Ah, the fish's shadow was cut off. That. An anchovy. Oh, 
I wasn't expecting anything with that one. Alright, two more fish. Tadpole. Okay, uh... Wait, really? Okay, I guess not. It's all there. I don't think I've no donated that one. It's five fish anyway. Okay. Cut down a tree. Uh, which tree is in the way? Probably this one. This one might be a fruit tree. That's pretty nice. I can't remember how you tell the difference, but that one's possibly a fruit tree. I think this tree is going to go. It's kind of in the way as well. I should leave the stump. There's bugs like that. Okay, the I want. fish. Black bats. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. And two more bugs. I'm just going to pour myself more tea before I continue. <sighs> Alright.
I haven't actually done this so far. Seems to be easier in this one compared to New Leaf. Sea Anemone. Shell. Just waiting for the surprise with the the otter. Sea slug. Another one. I only need five, but I might hang out until I fill the inventory. Another. Okay, good. That's another new one. Oh, I only needed three. Okay. Let's redeem knock miles. Well, I'll get a ticket. Four out of five. All right. I think that what I may have been thinking of. A slug. Star. Come on, give me a scallop. Hey, corn barnacle. I'm going to get a large amount of them today. See star.
Wait, do I have a honeybee? I think I got a honeybee already. That's a random spot for one. There's not even a flower there. Oh, it's raining. Okay, I might try fishing at the docks. There we go. We got a scout. It's Otter B. Savored. Speaking of otters. Hey, man. I thought that scallop of yours. Can I have it? Sure. Whoa, thanks for your generosity, man. Since you were cool about the scallop. I left you a cool recipe in return. The pearls you need for that recipe are rare, but sometimes you can find them on the ocean floor. I keep my eyes open for them too, and I might even trade you for a scallop if you find one. Forget give and take, this is called give and give. That's how we all win, you dig? Now if you don't mind, I'd like to lay some truth on you. The deep kind. Feel this. A child's laugh. And a horn section with a sax in front. That's it. That's the orchestra pit of the universe. Consider yourself truth. Yep, today's a good day. <laughs> Such a weird little otter. Okay, well, I got that to happen. I have to hopefully find another one for the museum. I was directly on top of it for a minute. We'll have a look around for a bit. Oh, this is the mouth of the river. But apparently I'm stuck. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay, uh, that, 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 
два, 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 два. I like the detail of the rain. You can hear it. Getting there. be a lot to donate tomorrow. <laughs> well, next time. required for that. Pearl, yeah, well. Unlikely that I'll find pearls. I need a dresser so I can get changed easily. Wait, does this count as a mirror? No. Even though it has a mirror. Wait, nope. Don't leave that running. fishing at the dock. Since it's raining, I'd probably get something good. I just need manila clams. Also collect shells and stuff, but I'll stop for big fish. That's just going to be a sea bass. No, okay. No, that's good. I don't have that yet. Okay. On to the pile it goes. I can't tell if I can hear a balloon, or if that's just the wind. I think it's just the wind.
Okay. No. <laughs> Damn it. That reminds me, I gotta look for the wolf roach as well. I'm gonna store all these shells, just because mermaid stuff or whatever involves it. Hmm, I think here. So impatient with the fishing. I thought for sure that was going to be it. Okay, I don't have that one yet either. I feel like I'm going to have to dedicate a whole stream just to catch a hundred fish in a row. Ooh. Nice. Again, just the growing pile. I've used the shovel enough. Should probably upgrade it now. Uh, what's required for upgrade? I can't remember, it's like one of these woods. Shovel. Oh, it's just iron. Okay. I kind of wish I would take into account just what you have in storage. I mean, I almost have a complete outfit. for a while.
probably not enough. Okay, uh, that one's done. A bug. Going good, you don't know why you're awake. <laughs> what, what time is it? That's fair. Like 6 a.m., yeah. I wouldn't be up at that hour either. Well, if given the choice. I mean, did you just wake up or have you been up for a while? gonna reach, I don't think this is gonna reach. Oh. Okay, well I needed that. That was a knock mile thing. Just woke up, couldn't get back to sleep, fair enough. I'm not sure if I donated this or not. But I will add it to the pile, and then if it's donated, I'll just sell it tomorrow. This would be f would be fine if I didn't have to craft the bait one by one. I could just go, yeah, make thirty. Okay, well I'm just gonna catch this just because I need one more. Also gonna do is bring a crafting bench near the beach. So then if I need to make the bait, I can just do it. Instead of having to run back home. Okay. What's required for that? Hardwood and iron. Well, that's uh, that's some bad news. I'm gonna have to go get more. I'll bring these with me. It's okay. I haven't hit all the trees today. It's just the ones on this part of the, the island. I haven't gone across here. Watch it not give me hardwood. Okay, good. Let's me build the thing. A 
I guess I don't have to water the flowers today either. <laughs> They're all done now. Okay. Uh... Alright, I mean, I think I'm up and running now. Need a storage set shed. Okay. I mean, just gonna place it here. Well, it's not that it's taking an old stump. Okay, maybe that might bother me a little. <laughs> it's just visually, this this wouldn't be here. It would be. I mean, I guess let's just place it here. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Where is the PR? Over there. Jesus. Wait, did that just give me nothing? Hey! Where's the fish? What? Oh! I didn't see that. The hell? Am I going blind? <laughs> I think I might be going blind. I didn't see the fish. I'm gonna watch that later. I'm putting a marker, damn it. I don't care that I lost that. I'm gonna check that later. I swear I didn't see a fish. I'm probably just tired. I've had a really long day. about I should probably put a crafting bench nearby here. Yeah. Okay, hold on, that's something. Oh, 
Ah, oh, turns. All right. Well, I got impatient. I deserve that. You can see how I got frustrated over the hundred fish in a row thing. Wait, no, I want... There we go. I want some money. Uh... I'll get a ticket. Because it's going to refund me some anyway. Pretty much any time when that's up, I'll get a ticket. Plant tree or shrub, catch one more fish. I catch fish. Yeah, I'm not planting flowers. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you know what? Just in case, I'll just sell. Just so I have inventory space. Okay. I'm in no rush with the villagers, so we'll see who we got on this one. Oh man, I I have not missed this menu. <laughs> it's a lot of text, like a bit. 30 whole seconds just to get through the whole process. I mean, the first time it happens, it's fine, it's charming, it's like, adds character to the thing, but... Once you've... done this... over and over again, you just, you just like, man, just please... send me to my destination.
Doesn't look like there's anything unique going on here. Oh, there's a villager. Who is it? Oh, it's... No, I'm good. It's a dragon. It's like sports dragon. I made a house for that dragon in Happy Homemaker. I know at some point someone's going to be like, but that's my favorite villager. Why didn't you take them? Statistically, every villager is someone's favorite at some point. <laughs> it was from Colton. Basement flooring. Of course Colton gives me basement flooring. That horse brought the plague to my town in New Leaf. villagers to hear from. I'm not going to take that back with me. So, oh wait, no, cross the river. Hey, Colorin, how's it going? Sorry, dragon, <laughs> not bringing you back. Let's say hi, though. Ah, uh, there's someone on this island. Oh, you're here visiting too. Um, Drago. Your will? From Shamblonia. Neat. I didn't expect to make a friend here. This island is so cool. Baron! Alright. Oh, that's a large-ish shadow. Save us! Good. Let's 
in the morning, the VPN was down and it wasn't available. Oh wait, IT wasn't available, but also it wasn't available. Well, I mean, in that case, it's like, it's not your fault, it's just technical. Ooh, I got gold. I didn't get the last one, but I got gold. Royalty, you say? What did I get? What? <laughs> That's the idea I got. <laughs> okay. How was the weekend? Uh, it was alright. To be honest, I don't remember much of it. Because it was just cleaning up around the house, boring adult stuff, and then playing games. It's also just yeah, a busy day today, so my brain is, like, shutting down. Don't have you yet. Yeah. The fun. Yeah, the funnest. Etc. Do I have that? Oh no, Pale Chub. I don't know if I have that. Fish, please. There we go. Ah, let's get the other one away. Biddling. Biddling, biddling. <laughs> so impatient. I feel like the fishing is easier in New Leaf. very indecisive of which villages to bring, but so far I haven't seen one, but I'm like, yes, I must have that villager to come back to town. Bluegill. I think I definitely donated that one. It's the common bluegill that's considered a pest. Just still trying to get Magilla Gorilla off the island. <laughs> I mean, all you can do is just ignore them, like, I guess. It's random. I think you can do other things like bully it, like shove it around, but I don't know. There's mixed things about that one. You don't talk to it. I love how you're calling it an it.
It needs to go. <laughs> oh. Eventually it will. Okay, the only other thing I need to do is find the hidden furniture. So. Not ready. Reflexes. That's how you do that. I think I have to get stung. You didn't know you could do that? Wait, do what? Like, catch the bug? Got to pretty much just stand this way, and then in the direction it drops in, just swing immediately. As long as your net is out, you'll you'll get it. I think the furniture is up on on high ground. Unfortunately, I don't have a ladder. want to arrive from them. I mean, it's a good instinct. You feel like you're not going to catch them and running is a good al alternative if you can get to safety. Alright, yeah, so the thing is definitely up there, unfortunately. So I can really get the most out of this island. Alright, back, back home we go. Um, place, place, I know I've donated the bluegill, I'm not sure about this one, pretty sure I've done, you know what, let's just be safe. that thing again. Alright, let's draw it. <laughs> okay. That, 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 that. Uh, 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 there we go. I think I just paid it off, almost. Hold on. So what do I need to catch? A wharf roach still and an olive flounder. Okay. Pretty close. Zero, zero, zero. <laughs> Wait. Zero, zero, zero. 
Alright, 2,000 left. I'll get this done. The bird sent me the Statue of Liberty, so I didn't know where to place it, so I put it here on this island. So I have that. Have I not run into one of them? They're usually so common. Alright, well I guess ocean fishing until I get the fish I'm looking for. I'm just not going to pay attention to how many fish I've caught in a row without messing up. I don't think I donated one to the museum. I think I sold it very early on. I think fishing is easier in New Leaf. It seems to be just pretty reliable how often, well, the time between each time the fish touches the bobber. Whereas in here, it's just a little random. Why does this little mouse just have a skeptical look constantly? Oh, hey, and I'm back to the right. How's it going? I already got an anchovy. Why are you so skeptical for, mouse? bench nearby. It's fine.
just want to pay off the rest of the home loan. Wait, that one's probably more worth it. Please, hold on. Please, don't ruin this. Bass. Oh no, cool. That's what I need. Okay. Dive for sea creatures again. I got space, I may as well do it now. Yeah, 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 no. How's the... How's it going? How's things? What are you up to these days? Cucumber. This doesn't look like a stream. I'm sorry. I do my best, but somehow I just always look like myself. It's an issue that I have. Things are fine, good to hear. What are you playing at the moment? Starfield? How how is Starfield? It sucked until you had a Thieves Guild equivalent. Okay. So now you're happy and doing copy of espionage. Right. Yeah, I've heard mixed things from people when it comes to that. I mean, Starfield, not the espionage thing. From what I've heard, it's a, it's a good game. But it's not, uh, like, extremely groundbreaking. But at least it's not, you know, Fallout 76 disastrous. It's like, yeah. It's, it's a game. If you enjoy Bethesda RPGs, you'll probably have fun. It takes way too long for any of its core systems to gain momentum. It's basically 76 without the bugs. I don't know much about 76. Other than its disastrous launch and just... It seemed to be like every day there was a piece of drama for that game. Involving the game directly or just things around it. I was... Considering it, if it was going to be something that was, you know, going to blow your mind in terms of RPG stuff, but it doesn't seem like it is. You know, I've seen funny bugs in it, at least. Armored Core is a game of the year so far. Okay. I've heard really good things about Armored Core, but it's not my thing, the whole mech thing. 
But yeah, I mean, From Software doesn't disappoint, typically. You've been waiting for this game for over 10 years. Okay, well, yeah, that, that would do it. I mean, for me, the stuff that I've enjoyed this year, let me see. Pizza Tower, uh... I enjoyed Tears of the Kingdom. I'll probably enjoy Mario RPG. I haven't played that one, but I know it's an older title. Maybe Mario Wonder on that list. Um, FF16 was good. I enjoyed that. Tears of the Kingdom was not thrilling. You got bored of it. That's fair enough. Nah, I mean, I was playing through every Zelda game, so I wanted to get through it. That game for me is... It's very good, it's just not up there as, like, one of the greatest Zelda games of all times. It has... It's set of issues that kind of stop it from getting to that point for me. Like, there's a few baffling decisions in there, and then... I think the weakest part of that game for me was, um was the underground. It's like this large area that they could have done more with. Tears of the Kingdom is just Breath of the Wild DLC. I don't know. I mean, at what point do you consider it the, or like, what would they need to do for it to not be DLC? Just because they use the same world? Like, if that's the case... It's an expansion. Yeah. I, I think I could agree with that to some degree. I mean, the thing is, the world does change quite a bit. Like, I see it as... The example I was going to bring up is, like, the original Link to the Past versus a Link Between Worlds. It's the same Hyrule, but they change it around. So it's not quite the same. But I wouldn't call, like, that an expansion of a Link to the Past. Like, it's its own thing. It's ha it has its own story has areas that didn't exist in the original. The reason you make a decision is, all right, I'll, I'll wait. I mean, the way that I see it, expansions, they're typically, like, stories that are self-contained but not as large as the original story, would you agree? Like, I, I haven't really seen any expansions that outdo the original content, right? So, I mean, I think it toes the line, like, you could definitely debate it. But for me, it, it did enough for it to feel like its own thing. Art design, it's not really a sequel, and yet it is. Feels more or less the same game without much improvement. The building is a small step, but not as big. Then again, it's pretty big. The building was basically the big new feature. Mm, I mean, the sky was completely new, the underground was completely new. Um, the approach to the actual bosses you fight, they were really well orchestrated. Instead of the, you know, thing you had to interact with, right? Um, the character sort of running their course and then just fading into the background. They were pretty present with the story. And that's why I think it's not DLC, because it's the, the thing is large enough that it just doesn't do that. I think the issue is it's just because it was set in the same world and that's pretty much why it would feel that way to people. Like, let's say the world was different, but then it was, you know, visually the same Link. Like, it, let's say if it was more like Majora's Mask, where, you know, they took the engine and assets mainly and just made a game out of it, right? But I'm sure the effort would have been lower. Lower. 
Oh yeah, hang on, I need to put stuff outside first. Nah, I'll sell stuff first, but... The obvious ones. There was enough new enemies, there was enough new areas, the story was not... ...minor in any way, it was completely new. The building system was absolutely insane. They had new content, like the sign stuff. Um, the Koroks were reworked, but yeah, arguably it's the same. I don't know. I feel like to, to call it a DLC is not giving the game enough credit for what... ...what it did. Just because it had the same setting, more or less. I ultimately we expect that DLC with Breath of the Wild never got it. We did get DLC with Breath of the Wild, though. I got what I expected from Breath of the Wild. If I'm being honest. I wasn't expecting... I wasn't expecting anything like a story... ...that was sizable. I just never had that expectation from them. This might be the reason they're not doing more DLC. They've already said they're not doing DLC for Tears of the Kingdom, and I think it's probably for that reason. Oh, thank you for the follow, it's Plasma. Um, don't think Breath of the Wild was Game of the Year either. Oh no, yeah, Breath of the Wild wasn't for me either. I had my issues with Breath of the Wild as well. Like, Breath of the Wild's problem was... It was... How do I explain it? It just had a... It was one of those things where it was just the start of a good new system. And then what they did in Tears of the Kingdom kind of realized it. Like, if you look at Breath of the Wild's design, you know, they focused on this new open world, but then... At times it felt like they didn't really fill it with much, so the enemy variety was pretty low compared to other Zelda games. And then side quests, they were kind of corralled around towns primarily, and the side quests were pretty minor and didn't... They never really referenced the main story too much, like, with a, with a few exceptions. And the story was very minimal compared to previous Zelda games. Um... So, you know, I had fun with Breath of the Wild because it was the novelty of a new console, for one. But also just, you know, that gave me memories of how Zelda 1 felt to me. So that's why I enjoyed that game. But I think there's a lot of things about it where it was it's just kind of like an early form of a new Zelda game. Um... Whereas in Tears of the Kingdom, my issues with it is... There's a bunch of lessons that they definitely would have learnt from Breath of the Wild. And for some reason, they just... Either chose to stick to their guns, or just... Either just omitted it completely. Um, yeah. And then just, uh, the underground fell flat for me. I feel like they could have done more with that area. The area in the underground is 90% visually the same. And it's just camps in the void of emptiness, pretty much. The light routes... They don't provide any meaningful upgrade. The only thing they really do is act as an indicator. And you don't really need to do them. So once you get your battery done, I didn't really... see any compelling reason to go back down there, for the most part, other than getting 100%, or as close to as possible. I just, I feel like the way that area would have been good is if they had smaller dungeon-like areas down there, that you get through them, there's a boss, and then, you know, you get rewarded with some of the sets you found down there. And that's his jacket. 
also play Animal Crossing often, every now and then. I don't stick to one game, I play a multitude of things. But this was highly requested that I play this again. Because I played it during COVID, whenever this came out, and it was, it was fun. Cuphead, Neo Automata, Odyssey, Sonic Mania, Hat and Time. Those were the stuff that came out in 2017. I would have to think long and hard about 2017. I definitely enjoyed Zelda a lot. Um, Odyssey, I feel like I probably got more out of it. But yeah, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, they're like, they're very good games. And in their respective release years, they're probably up there in the top three games that release. But if you play some against, like, my favorites in that series, they fall short. The Sage system in Tears of the Kingdom annoyed me at the end. It really did. I, I found it so weird that they implemented such a clunky system. It's not a problem at the start. When you have one Sage following you, it's like, okay, it's fine. It works. But when it gets to five, all right. So, you know, I want to talk to a particular Sage. They're not anywhere near me, so I have to go chase the one I'm interested in. If I go chase the one I'm interested in, it'll either keep running away because it's trying to attack things, or maybe I might bump into the wrong one and talk to that one by mistake. Or like, you know, I'm trying to shoot an arrow and I want to use lightning. I have to run up to a character that's in melee combat to shoot an arrow. When, I mean, I suggested this, but I feel like almost every single Sage, with the exception of one, could have been a button press, so, you know. If you want Sidon's power, pull out a shield, and then there's a button press that tells Sidon, hey, shield me, so you don't have to run up to him. Or when you bring up the throw menu, you have an option to throw... The Goron dude, I've already forgotten his name. <laughs> you know, though. I, I think everything could have been a button press, with the exception of the big, big thing. I won't, I won't spoil it, but big thing. And yeah, rain was the other thing that I just could not believe they decided to stick to their guns on that one. The problem isn't that the climbing is annoying. I mean, sometimes rain just prevents you from doing a problem. There was a particular shrine where the puzzle is you have to build this thing and then the shadow casts... Yeah, cast a shadow, and then if the shadow lines up perfectly, um, it'll unlock the shrine. But the problem I was having was that it needed... So the whole thing needs to happen at a particular time of day. And it kept raining, so I couldn't make a campfire. So I had to go find shelter to make a campfire to fast forward time and try again. And it kept raining on me over and over again. But even with the, uh, the climbing thing they did, like, the potions don't give you immunity. You still slip enough that it annoys you. And the armor itself. I didn't want to wear that armor because it, it's only useful when it's raining. Useful when it's raining and you're trying to climb. I wanted to wear, like, the Fierce Deity set. Or the, the Stealth set. Because they're useful all the time. So when it started raining, I would change three pieces of clothing for 15 seconds so I could climb, and then change it back. And, yeah. It's stuff like that that that's why the game just doesn't end up in, like, S tier for me.
still a very good game, though. Really enjoyed my time with it. Just wish they would have done certain things a little differently, that's all. As a file. That repaid. Zero, zero, zero. Yes, I finished paying off my home loan. Apparently I need to catch one more fish, right? Yeah, one more fish. Alright, let's talk to him. Oh, hello there, Will. I must offer a hearty congratulations. You've paid off your loan in full. I'd expect nothing less, of course, but such a milestone is certainly cause for celebration. Hmm? I suppose there's also a good time to take stock and reflect. Yes, yes. I'm sure your home is quite comfy in its current configuration, but what if it could be bigger? Oh, I assure you that it can indeed be bigger. A bigger home means more space for furniture and storage too. And now that I have introduced some possibilities, I will leave it at that. Do please come see me if you'd like to hear more. Lunge into debt further. <laughs> About my home. Well, hmm. For your home, I think I'd recommend making the room larger. That would require taking out a loan of 198,000 bells interested. Okay. Wonderful. I'm so happy for you. I'm going to make sure construction begins right away. Oh, it occurs to me this might be a good time to consider a new color for the roof, don't you think? Go with that one for now. Okay. Yeah. Further into that. Oh, I didn't sell this. I missed one. I mean, I don't want to buy stuff, so I'll just catch one more fish. Alright, good progress. Store, house, a lot of museum stuff. Still haven't really committed to any extra villager. Alright, oh, I don't have fishing rod. I'll make an effort to try and find one of the ones I like. It's just the problem is it requires so much miles to do so and luck. Okay, I keep doing this. Turn it that way. <laughs> there we go. Wow, 
One more fish. I have bait. You know what? I'm going to go to the pier. One thing I've been trying to avoid is all this information circling around the next Nintendo Direct. There's just leaks for it. It comes from the person that correctly predicted the two Mario games that are going to release. And they're saying a bunch of stuff and I'm trying to avoid it, but... I mean, I think the thing that's imminent is the next Switch console. Like, I'd be shocked if they don't announce it in the next month or two. It would make sense if they're gonna go for the same release, like a March release. Supposedly they've already shown it to um, people in the games industry. Oh, look! Everyone's favorite fish. Alright, well, let's try our luck. Small one. I tried. Gonna hear so much facts next time. Bladders will be talking for half an hour. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Smoked meats. Yeah, what's required for that flooring? I got a recipe from Colton of all of all things. Ten stone, okay. I think stone would probably go better here. Apparently this is basement flooring. I mean, we don't have basements in Australia. Is, is this accurate? Or attics. They're, they're kind of uncommon. Yeah, I mean... It's fine, I think. Can I hang this on the wall? Basement is cement, huh? I don't know why I have that picture. But sure, <laughs> you can hang over here. My floor toaster, floor ice, iron, 
I have the essentials, like... The game has been kind of good at giving me essentials. So wait, what is this? Oh, yeah, it's just not a swat, you eh? Let me take your temperature. <laughs> what, what does that even mean? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, eh? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I mean, I'm... I'm gonna change clothing, so... This is just... Getting out of the warrior outfit. I'll stick with this. I will find clothing. Maybe I should just draw the hoodie. Ooh, I wonder if I can bring in the hoodie that I had in my old file across. I'm sure there's a way of doing it. Or I can have a browse. Look, sometimes people do pretty cool clothing with this. always have just skeptical look. I mean, here this makes sense. And if warriors dress up as a nurse, I mean, I'm dressed up as warrior as warrior dressed up as a nurse. It would warrant this look like, what's he doing? Hey. He knows I'm from Meat Leaf. Oh, heard the rumors of the, uh... Yes. The Golden Clock. And impeachment. Well, I mean, I, I can build a golden mask. <laughs> I want to go... Just looking... That's fine. I'm sure there's a thumbnail in there somewhere. I do find it funny that Colton sent something in a bottle. Given Colton was in the New Leaf Town. Surprised it didn't contain the plague. The basement flooring was Colton's. Hey, hey, you want to learn how to make a basement? I know just the thing. Yeah, it might sound weird to say, but I've never been in a basement, ever. I mean, house basement. The building basements is, is a different thing. It doesn't count. It's like usually a parking lot. But like someone's home that has a basement. There are older Victorian houses that have attics. I've been in an attic. 
and those attics, you know, they people can live up there. They're actually pretty nice. You can have both. See, I'd be afraid of either. It's just... I get the feeling the reason they don't exist here is just because spiders. Or just a potential for something like that getting in there, you know? Just wonder why they're not a thing, really. You can definitely find them, it's just... You really have to look. In this circumstance, I wouldn't mind a basement just to have, like, this office thing down there dedicated. I mean, the space I'm in is, is pretty small, but if it was a basement, it was larger, hell yeah. Of course, probably have to put carpet or something down there. My primary concern for the attic would definitely be spiders. I've never been in a basement and I've never slipped on ice. There you go. That might, that might be weird to some. to try for big fish. Attics are built because roofs that get a lot of snow need to have a steeper... Need to be steeper to have the snow slide off and basements are so utilities are below the freeze line. Huh. But I mean, we- okay, it's not like our- I'm trying to think, like, it's not like we have tiny roofs, like, they're, they're pretty- I don't know. I, I have no frame of reference here. Maybe the first thing I'll- I'll notice if I go somewhere that has an attic is like, holy shit, that's a big roof. I guess the basement explanation makes sense. It's like, I guess that's why we have no need for them. What's a freeze line? Freeze? What is that word? What does it mean? I have to let that one go in the river. I did it on purpose. I mean, pond. Because you get lost treasure for one. And I also get clots. Okay. 
It doesn't snow, so there's no reasons for it. Well, it does snow, it just... in very specific places. But in the general part of Australia where the majority of the population lives, no, it doesn't snow. It snows here, it's just not very... You would laugh at the snow report. They talk about, like, one weekend in August, typically, or July. And then they have to turn snow machines on most of the time. To increase it. I've seen snow, but I haven't seen snow snow, you know what I mean? It's like... If I was to tell you that I've seen a fish, but the only fish I've ever seen is a goldfish. It's like, yeah, I've seen a fish, but have I really seen a fish? Hmm. I've, I've, I've had, like, pictures of s snowstorms sent to me. Like, particularly from Europeans. My friend Kat from Sweden looks like she lives on a whole fucking other planet. It's just... I, I can't fathom that, like, waking up and seeing that the next day. They get more snow, yeah. I kind of have this theory that maybe Europeans are healthier in general or more fit. Because when winter hits and they have to fuck, like, move around in that, do you know how much physical exertion that would require to get through that snow? Like, they, they would be more fit in general, I think. At least during the season of winter, I don't know. Yeah, between shoveling snow, but also moving around in snow. It's physical exertion that I certainly never have to do. And then for, the bad thing is not so much the snow, but it's more... There's a part where... What, what is the term for it? But it's basically mud snow. Mud snow, I've heard, is worse. I mean, listen, I might not get, I might not have to shovel snow, but, you know, there are days where if I step outside, I can probably cook a, a steak on the footpath, sidewalk, whatever you want to call it. Or, you know, there was that one time in 2020 when um, a third of the country was on fire and the air quality of Melbourne was the worst in the world. <laughs> you couldn't see the sun. I think the, there's a little bit of a balance. Boy, that was a year. The, that year started with, man, this fire sure is inconvenient. <laughs> oh, and what, what was around the corner? You got a snow thrower? What's a snow thrower? It's like, I have to ask these questions because they don't have these here. <laughs> I mean, they probably do, but I would imagine only... It'd be a use case for people that live... The, the few, like, thousand people that live in the mountains.
please. Just <laughs> mass crafting whatever comes next for Animal Crossing. At, at least for stuff like this. It's a machine that throws snow so you don't have to shovel. Think of it like a lawnmower. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, that sounds kind of fun. I mean, the main thing here is you just have to not fuck with fire. That's pretty much it, is we have this warning system. They've just... Alright, hang on. It's kind of funny. This warning system they have, but you really, like, you really have to pay attention to it. And when they mean, like, no outdoor fire, they mean it, because... Sometimes when these massive fires starts, it's because someone just wasn't paying attention, was smoking, and then, you know, just drop it on the ground and didn't care enough. Um, hang on. I'll show you the fire warning for my sake, because it's kind of hilarious. I mean, fire isn't hilarious, it's more just... You'll see. You'll see. It's pretty funny. It's just... And I will I will say to this note, Australia is not a dangerous place. It really isn't. I know there's a meme about it, but like, like I said, think of the most dangerous thing that could happen to you locally. You have more odds of that happening to you than the dangerous stuff in Australia. Unless you're in the middle of nowhere. If you're in a city, you're, you're perfectly safe. With that being said, this is our fire danger system. So, typically scales go from 0 to 10. This, there is no such thing as 0. It's low to moderate, then it immediately goes to high, very high, severe, extreme, and code red when a third of the country is on fire, pretty much. But there's no such thing as, like, no fire danger. So, yeah. <laughs> don't don't mess with fire. Has it ever gone to code red? Yeah, it, it definitely did in um in twenty twenty. It was collectively the amount of land that was lost to fire was the size of the country of Belgium, roughly. Like, when it's that, it's, taught, it's pretty much state emergency, national emergency. Parts of, uh, yeah, things are cut off and it's on the news and probably international news at that point. I mean, those fires burnt for like three months. It does happen. Okay, well I have... all the bait I should need, hopefully. Oh, there's still one more Manila clan. I mean, again, that's just... If you're in the cities and stuff, and even suburbia, it's not as risky. But you still should pay attention to it. Okay, so I may not have slipped on ice. Do you want to hear it? Okay, Australia's equivalent to slipping on ice is you get into your car, you go to put your seat seatbelt on, and then you burn your hand on the metallic clip because it gets that hot. Just putting your hand on any sort of metallic object when it's that hot and you kind of forget, that's the that's our equivalent of slipping on ice. Ugh, this is 
great video of a dude one day decided to make like a TikTok of showing how hot it was in Australia that day. So, you know, was outdoor at a park and had a barbecue. And so, you know, put a piece of meat on the grill and it, was, and it started cooking. Dude was like, see, it's not even on and it's cooking. And then he went to lean on the thing to make a point and the dude burnt his hand. It was, uh, I think a lot of Australians can relate to that. Just forgetting. Ooh, hello. Don't have ice rings. We do. This is uncommon. There's a couple nearby where I live. I mean, they're fake. They're not real, but uh, they're ice rinks. Yeah, it's not, it's not great. I should try it out. I, I, I don't know. I feel like I'd be okay because I, I used to do inline skating and I think I'd be fine. But I just have this fear and it might be like a result of seeing too many horror movies. But you know, you're, you're basically, it's shoes with knives on the bottom. I don't know. There's just something about that thought that... It just prevents me from wanting to try it. It's just... Am I gonna have that much fun doing that? Mm, probably not. Like, I've done inline skating. Now, if I was overseas and it was genuine snow... And, you know, it was ice that I could skate on... Yeah, that'd be a different experience, but... To be in the middle of Melbourne, when it's fucking sunny outside, <laughs> I don't know, man. Ah, crap. I'm so impatient when it comes to this. Okay, this one I have to get. It's not on my bucket list of things to do, let's put it that way. But to experience a real winter, that would fall under that category. Too slow. I'll lump in ice skating with that. That experience. Experiencing a real winter will fall under that. Make it happen, take a vacation somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. I'm not reacting quick enough to this. For me, the idea of a first vacation in a while would probably be going to Japan. I've wanted to go there for a while. It's just certain things have happened, which has prevented me from going. The last one being a, a giant elephant in the room that, you know, made it impossible to go anywhere for three years. Practically.
replan it. Yeah, I gotta sort of make things align with work. I don't have. sea bass right I can't tell I messed up with the big fish <sighs> it's all right that was probably a sea bass I'm never g I'm never gonna not be this impatient <laughs> the hundred fish thing took a lot but I can do it again, I just need to focus a lot more. I think the key is go for small fish because there's more wiggle room. Yes! <laughs> there we go. There's a big one. I don't remember if that one's one that's only in rain, but I'll take it. Another sizable donation. Yeah, look, no. Oh, it's there's a delay. Okay, so that other time there was definitely no fish. There was just a delay. So I wasn't imagining it. balloon. Hold on. Where is Ballon? missed this. So one thing New Leaf kind of lacked was just the balloons giving you random good stuff. <laughs> that, was, that was very bad. Thank you. 
You got 30,000 bells a few times? Lucky. I've only seen 10 so far. Max. I've probably seen 30,000 before, but... Okay, well, let's just see. Little fish. Oh, because it's going to be a gigantic tank, that's why. That's why. I can't remember if I donated this one, so let's just put that there. You got your $10 popcorn, so they did ship you it. Did it taste extra good? Cheese and caramel mix. Yeah, that must be. I can't imagine that flavor. <laughs> but maybe it's because I'm not one for sweet stuff. If I'm going savory. Uh, but I guess I had honey butter. It'd probably be similar to that. Honey butter was pretty good potato chip flavors. Yeah, cheese and sweet. I can see it. Ten dollars. <laughs> Not worth ten, but it was for a good cause. Yeah. Storage. Well, I have a nice amount of money. What is that music that's playing? I also can't believe this. Right, I have a- I can get changed. I forgot about this, that my fridge allows me to get changed at the fridge. Like, what a weird thing. Oh yes, Wario is a frog! <laughs> oh, it completely removes it. I mean, if Wario were to have the frog outfit in a Mario- well, in a platformer, I guess it would be like this. I didn't get changed, it's fine. <laughs> Frog outfit was fine. I'll find the use for it later. Okay, well, the time on. Well, what the? Time. 
the time is that time, except it's AM, so... Yeah. Well, it's the 12th here, but you got the point. It's approaching 1am. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I would have done other stuff today, but I was just completely wrecked after work, and I finished everything I needed to do at about, like, 9.30. Like, it, it's been it's been a long day. So, thanks uh, for tuning in today, everyone. If you're watching this later on YouTube as well, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you've been enjoying me playing through New Horizons again. Uh, if you have been, just remember if you want to support the channel, completely optional. You can click buttons, the ones that YouTube uses to like push things into the algorithm. I hear one of them has a thumbs up. <laughs> But thank you to those that do do that. Uh, it really does help out a lot. So, yeah, appreciate it. And I'm sure if you want to watch me play something else, YouTube is also popping up two of my other videos. So, happy to check them out. But till next time. Bye, YouTube.